Cornell is live at the courthouse in Chula Vista. Marie, there was emotional testimony from the victim's family. Yeah, Jim, each of these family members broke down as they spoke about how this, Jane, this day rather has changed their lives forever. And before the judge handed down the sentence, he actually called this the most callous, senseless crime he's ever seen. Showing no emotion, Albert Blake just sat there as he listened to the family members of Maribel Ibanez pour their hearts out, telling the judge why they believe Blake should spend the rest of his life in prison. By putting him in jail, it will stop hurting more other people. I know it won't bring my daughter back no more, but at least some part of that is done that he will harm nobody else. Blake was found guilty of first degree murder and three counts of attempted murder last month for his role in a 2019 shooting inside of this church's chicken in Otay Mesa. Authorities say he tried to use a counterfeit $100 bill to purchase food but was denied. They say Blake left, went to his car, came back and started shooting, killing Ibanez and wounding two others. He was arrested a couple of weeks later in Tennessee. Ibanez's husband, who addressed the court with the help of a translator, told Blake he's been anxiously waiting for this day. And I am very thankful because finally justice will be made. And I want him to know that even, in a, even if a hundred years go by, it won't be enough time because I won't get my wife back. So again, Blake has been sentenced to life in prison. He will also have to pay restitution to the victims. Live from Chula Vista, Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.